Welcome to the banks of the River Verbas in Banyaluka. In this video, we'll be taking you on a ride on a Dayak. For most tourists, a visit to Venice is incomplete without a ride on one of the gondolas. And the same rule applies when visiting Banyaluka. A ride on Banyaluka's traditional boat, the Dayak, is a unique experience that you don't want to miss when you're in the city. The Dayak, by the way, is now the symbol for the city and you'll see them not only in marketing products but also on roundabouts on the roads and other locations throughout the city. The name Dayak comes from the wooden pole, some four meters long, that is used to push the boat against the current of the river. A traditional paddle isn't useful or helpful due to the shallow draft of the river Verbas. However, the river's current is notoriously fast. Today, dayaks are used within 15 kilometers of the city in the shallow sections of the River Verbas. Dayaks used to be bigger than they are today and have been used for centuries to transport goods and people up and down the river. Allegedly, Banyaluka didn't have too many bridges centuries ago, so dayaks were a means of transporting commercial material. Once the bridges were built, well, taxes were imposed on the crossings, so dayaks again became a good commercial option. In the late 1960s, Dayaks got a modern makeover, which has led to today, where they are used for both relaxation and sport. By the way, the person that steers the Dayak is called a Dayakash. The boats themselves are seven meters long and made from pine. The most striking details are on the stern and bow of the boat, the Spitz, which are made from one piece of wood. Now steering a dayak is not very hard, it's just important to master the technique. And while we were on our boat, we were told, it won't flip. It might sink, but it won't flip. In actual fact, that's a joke. They don't flip and they are totally safe. Now Dayakash today is Dragon, who is not only a founder of the modern Dayak Club, but who has also spent 30 years of his life on the river. He's an exceedingly knowledgeable guy, he speaks English, and can give you a very detailed history, not only of the boat, but lots of anecdotes to do with the river. And if you're into equality, by the way, it's not uncommon to see women steering dayaks on the River Verbas. Sadly, the traditional skills needed to both repair the boats and build new ones is now under threat. It seems that new generations are not too interested in learning the skills required. Hopefully though, this won't mean the end of this unique part of Banya Luka city culture.
So when coming to Banyaluka in the late spring to late summer, do take advantage of the unique opportunity to get to know the city from the river perspective, along with an experienced Diakash. You won't be disappointed. And now, let's enjoy the rest of the ride. <laughs> 